This is a tutorial on how to create dummy variables in Gretel. Uh, dummy variables are variables that take on two values, zero or one, depending on whether the observation satisfies a condition or not. Uh, we're going to use uh, this data set, uh, text messaging CSV. Notice this is a CSV file. It's a text file, but it can be opened with any uh, spreadsheet program. So we're going to open it and here it is. We have an ID variable and we have numerical variables and the last two variables are categorical variables. See, we don't see numbers here. We see categories. Race, we have white, black, other, Hispanic, and gender, we have male and females. So I'm going to teach you how to deal with these two columns in Gretel. So we're going to close it and we're going to open that file into Gretel. So file, open data, import, CSV. Notice that I changed from Excel to CSV because uh, when we're dealing with text variables, uh, Excel doesn't work. Uh, so we're going to open a CSV file. It's separated by commas, comma, separated values. That, that's what CSV means. Uh, and we're going to find it. I have it in my desktop. And here it is, text messaging. So I get the typical uh, message saying, do you want this to be a time series data set, a panel data set, or a regular one? So if I answer no, I get a regular data set. So that's what I want. I also get a message saying there were two variables, the variable race and the variable gender, that were categorical. So what Gretel did is it created it recoded uh, the values. So now it is a numerical variable that takes, race is a numerical variable that takes four possible values, one, two, three, four. And you see they, corresponds, they correspond to the white race, black race, other races, and Hispanic race. And the same for the variable gender. So the, the categories, the text variables, have been transformed into numerical variables. Uh, but they're still categories. So we will have to do something with those variables before we can run regressions. Okay, so we're gonna close, we're gonna keep this information here. Uh, we're gonna close this, and here are the variables. So if we take a look at, at, at the data set, if we take a look at the data set, you see that now the data set is made up of not all numbers. Race and gender are no longer text variables, they are numbers. Okay, so, but we have to do something else before we get to use them in a regression. So these two variables are categorical variables. And what we're going to do is we're going to construct dummy variables uh, for these uh, two variables. So let's take race first. Uh, let's take gender first. And we're going to go to add and we're going to add dummies for the selected discrete variables i have selected gender so i'm going to create dummy variables for that variable so i can create dummies for all uh the variables or i can skip the lowest or the highest value i'm going to explain this in class uh so we're going to skip uh we're going to skip the highest value so we're skipping men uh, and what the program is going to do is going to create a variable uh, that is going to be one if the person is a woman and zero if the person is a man. Uh, we're going to relabel this variable. So right click and then edit attributes. And we're going to call it email. And the description is going to be is equal to one if uh, the person is a, is a woman, if woman zero if man and then we're going to click okay so that's the first uh dummy variable created now if we take a look at the data again uh data set and now we have a new variable uh named female which is equal to one when gender is equal to one and is equal to zero when gender is equal to two uh it's going to be equal to one when it's female and it's going to be equal to zero when male. That's what we wanted. 
Uh, what about the other variable? The other variable has uh, four possible values. So we're going to create uh, three different uh, dummy uh, variables for race. Uh, the rule typically is you leave out uh, the most uh, popular group. Uh, so this is a data set for the U.S. Uh, the, the, the most popular uh, race in the U.S. is white. I don't know, 80% of people in the U.S. are white. So we're going to leave them out. We're going to keep them. Uh, we're not going to create. That's what I mean. That we're not going to create a dummy variable for them. They're going to be the group we're comparing all the other groups against. OK, so I want to do the same. I want to select race. And I want to add uh, dummies for that selected. So I want to skip. Uh, in this case, I want to skip the first group, skip the lowest value. And then it's going to create three dummy variables, one for uh, race two, which is black, for race three, which is other, and for race four, which is Hispanic. So again, we're going to rename those data sets, those, those variables, I mean. So we're going to do edit attribute. So race two is, race two is black. Okay, it's equal to one if the person is black zero if other. <laughs> okay. uh, we're going to do the same with race three, which is other race, other races, uh, edit attributes, uh, other races, which is going to be equal to one if other race is going to be equal to zero otherwise. And finally, we're going to do the same for Hispanics. So edit attributes. Uh, so this is we're going to name it Hispanic. And if Hispanic is equal to 1, if the person is Hispanic, it's going to be equal to 0 otherwise. OK. So now we have created uh, four new variables. All of them are 1s or zeros, depending on whether the person satisfies the condition uh, for each of the variables. Uh, whether the person is black, whether the person belongs to other races, whether the person is Hispanic, and whether the person is female. Uh, in class, I'm going to show you uh, how to interpret uh, the coefficients of uh, a regression that includes dummy variables. I'm going to stop now.